Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of the Canadian SME Small Business Podcast. I'm your host Nidhi and today we have an insightful discussion ahead. We'll be discussing cybersecurity, its importance for businesses, how to integrate it effectively and how it can provide a competitive advantage. Our guest for this episode is Brandon Jones who started his managed service company in 2003. As a young entrepreneur, Brandon built his business on referrals and made a name for himself in helping small businesses find better IT solutions. He has authored books on choosing competent IT services and improving cybersecurity for businesses. Brandon has helped grow Attitude IT into one of the premier specialized managed service providers in Ontario, focusing on building partnerships to improve efficiency, security, and network optimization. Join us as we explore Brandon's journey and his insights into the world of cybersecurity. Hi, Brandon. It is a pleasure to have you on the Canadian SME Small Business Podcast. How are you doing today? I'm fantastic. Thanks so much for having me. <laughs> Brandon, your expertise in cybersecurity and your journey from a young entrepreneur to leading a top IT service uh, services company is truly inspiring. We are delighted to have you uh, share your experiences and insights with our listeners. So, Brandon, let's talk about your journey and inception of Attitude IT. So, every successful business starts with a vision and determination. So, Brandon, can you tell us about your background and what inspired you to start Attitude IT back in 2003? Yeah, I think um, I've always been interested in technology. Even growing up, I used to uh, take apart things and put them back together, um, even if the parents didn't uh, appreciate that so, so often. But um, then uh, in college, like I decided that I always wanted to like be able to run a business and that sort of thing. And um, so I started, you know, helping friends and family with their computers and fixing their computer problems. Uh, that turned into referrals, which then turned into small to medium businesses reaching out. Um, and then it just kind of grew from there. So uh, what were some of the key challenges you faced during your early days into the business and how did you overcome them? So, I mean, when you're growing a business, especially a small business in Canada, um, I know lately, like there's been, you know, labor market issues and that sort of stuff. Well, that's always been a challenge uh, is finding good people, um, finding the right people and uh, in order to service your clients um, and then also keeping those people and keeping those people happy because, you know, happy employees make happy clients. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely does. So I think your journey from inception to becoming a leading IT service provider is truly motivational. So friends, I want to take a moment to connect with you. Brandon's journey from starting Attitude IT in 2003 to growing it into a leading IT service provider is truly inspiring. It shows us that with vision, determination and a willingness to overcome your challenges, you can achieve great success. From for any of you out there starting your own business, remember that perseverance is a key. So, uh, Brendan, let's talk about importance of cybersecurity. So, in today's digital age, cybersecurity is more crucial than ever. So, can you explain what cybersecurity is and why it is so important for businesses today? Yeah, I think, uh, like you like you said, cybersecurity has changed a lot uh, in recent days. I think with uh, the expansion of the remote workforce and that it's created a lot of opportunities out there for cyber criminals to try to gain access and monetize um you know breaking into small businesses data systems and things like that so cybersecurity before that like it kind of started you just need an antivirus and a firewall um these days you need much more um and you know it's so important because cyber criminals um they're kind of i don't i don't want to call them lazy but they would look for the easier path so just putting like some, some things in place along your cybersecurity journey, you make yourself less accessible to a hack or an attack um, than other companies, which makes it less likely of you being affected. So that, I think that is very, very rightly said. And I think the understanding the fundamentals of cybersecurity, I think that is the first step in protecting your businesses. Absolutely. So to everyone tuning in, I want to emphasize the critical importance of cybersecurity in today's digital landscape. As Brandon highlighted, understanding and implementing robust cybersecurity measures can protect your business from like potential threats and ensure its longevity. Don't underestimate the power of being proactive in safeguarding your digital assets. 
Ben, and let's talk about integrating uh, cybersecurity into business planning. So, effective cybersecurity should be an integral part of your business strategy. Why should business planning include cybersecurity, and how can companies start integrating into their strategies? Yeah, so um, that's that's a really good question, and I think traditionally a lot of companies have relied on their internal IT team or an external IT partner to help put these things in place. Um, however, a lot of times companies, they don't um, check in on this and make sure they're actually getting what they think they're getting from their internal IT or external partner. Um, and so they need to have someone within the company that's willing to have discussions with them and keep a, keep a clear line of communication to make sure they have the right things in place. And, and this doesn't have to be like costly things. This can be the policies and procedures, like for example, a password policy or a disaster recovery plan. Um, these are very straightforward things to do, but you just have to um, do it and actually have it written down because um, a lot of companies that we talk to, they think they have, they might have a policy in place, but once we start talking to them, uh, we say, okay, well, where is this policy? And they say, oh, we don't have it written down. Everyone knows it. And it's like, well, if it's not written down, it's not a policy. So these are very simple things that you can put in place and it, and it really elevates you compared to what other companies are doing right away. So I think it will be very likely to say that incorporating cybersecurity into business planning is essential for long-term success and protection. Yeah, abs absolutely. I mean, um, not doing that, you're putting your business at risk. Um, other than like, you know, your business is usually, if you're a business owner, it's probably your largest asset. Um, and you wouldn't have like a house without house insurance or a car without car insurance. So you need to have the right things in place to just protect that asset. So let's talk about and shift our focus to cost and competitive advantage. So cybersecurity can save your business money and offer a competitive edge. So how can investing in cybersecurity save businesses money and create a competitive advantages? Yeah. Um, on the cost saving side, it would be, you know, you're preventing that that risk or that large event that could put you out of business or could cost a lot um, should you fall victim to a ransomware or financial redirection scam or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, from a competitive advantage point of view, um, if you want to look at the manufacturing ind industry as an example, um, if someone's the, if you're if you and several competitors are bidding on the same project and you have the the right cybersecurity in place to have taken a strong uh, stance in it, mm -hmm. you look a lot better than your competitors. So it can really help you in a bidding situation. Um, and also vendor chain attacks are probably one of the most common attacks. And a lot of companies have become wise to that. So they want to protect themselves down the line. So they're, they're looking for other partners that also um, place a strong importance on security. So can you share any examples of businesses that have benefited from a strong cybersecurity strategy? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you want to look at the uh, healthcare industry, for example, um, it started with HIP in the States and it's uh, PIPTA in Canada. Um, basically, having that compliance in place, the chances of having an adverse event are like very low, um, which basically means that those are the companies that are going to survive. Um, one of those types of events in a company like that, where you have to like publicly notify people, patients, things like that, it can be detrimental. It's not just the initial financial impact, it's reputational. Um, it's the embarrassment of something like that happening to your organization. So uh, I think it's right to say that investing in cybersecurity is not just about protection, but it is also about enhancing business efficiency and competitiveness. Yes, absolutely. I mean, another example, like to that same end, manufacturing. Mm -hmm. Um, if you're selling up chain into something like uh, Boeing, which is Department of the part of the or does stuff for Department of Defense in the U.S., uh, you need to have CMMC compliance. And having that compliance in place makes it puts the right checks and balances in place so that you're it's extremely unlikely of you having an adverse event. That's that's amazing. So, uh, Brendan, let's talk about your recent accomplishments and uh, community engagement. So engaging with the community and achieving milestones are important aspects of business growth. So, Brendan, can you share one of your recent accomplishments and how Attitude IT is involved in community initiatives? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're we're involved in in several local chambers and boards of trade. Um, and I love getting out there and meeting other small business owners to hear the challenges. Sometimes it's one of the best ways to like learn what's going on out there and what they're experiencing in their businesses and, and the economy and how things are going along. 
Um, from the local, the initiatives that we've been running, one of the latest ones, uh, we partnered with Ignite Derm, uh, which is a fantastic organization um, in the education sector, like uh, helping kids make sure that they have the things they need for school. Um, and we're an education first company. So kind of like we spend a lot of our time trying to educate local businesses. So it just, it seemed like a really great fit. And, uh, and we've actually, our staff has had a lot of fun helping them so far or and working with them. <laughs> it <laughs> yeah. is. <laughs> Great. And it's it's very, very inspiring to hear about your recent successes and uh, community involvements. So before we wrap up, Brandon, what is that one piece of advice that you can give to small business owners looking to enhance their cybersecurity measures today? Yeah, I mean, and it doesn't have to be even, even the costly stuff. Like mm -hmm. we see cybersecurity as a journey mm -hmm. um, and it's a learning process and things are changing every day. Um, so some things that you could put in place today um, that wouldn't actually even cost anything. You would just need to spend a little bit of time at it, create a disaster recovery plan. You can likely get a copy online and then edit it for your business. Um, set up policies for at least password protection um, mm -hmm. and enforce mm -hmm. MFA amongst your staff so that they use multi-factor authentication on their cloud applications. Great. That is great. Uh, thank you so much, Brandon, for sharing your valuable insights and experiences with us today. Uh, we discussed the importance of cybersecurity, how to integrate into business strategies and the benefits it offers. Your journey and advice, pro uh, it definitely provides essential takeaways to our listeners. Thank you so much for your time today. It was really, uh, I'm really excited to be here and uh, I, I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Brandon. Uh, we extend our gratitude to our partners, exclusive banking partner, RBC, exclusive shipping partner, UPS, exclusive email partner, Constant Contact, exclusive hospitality partner, ISG, and exclusive tech partner, Google. Thank you to our audience for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to the Canadian SME Small Business Magazine by visiting our website, canadiansme.ca, to stay updated with more insight episodes. Until next time, continue supporting your local businesses and thrive in the world of small business.